here we go folks so this is the x-rite color checker chart that i use to calibrate the colors of my camera systems okay you can see that it's made up of all of the different color blocks now traditionally folks would take an image of the color checker out on a location like we're kind of doing now although i'm using it slightly differently now like i said most will take the color uh, color chart with them take an image of the checker out on location with their model okay and then they would take that image into lightroom or photoshop or whatever other software they use and then they would balance the white balance and exposure off of that color chart now i'm using the color chart to actually build a profile for my cameras so all of my cameras all the way from my nikon d750 as well as my Canon R5 and my Sony A9, those will all be color, uh, color calibrated against this chart. So what I, what I essentially do is I'm just gonna take a, a image of this color chart, okay? And then we'll take it into the software on my desktop, which we will see in a minute. So guys, this is the X-Rite color checker chart. Uh, it's been one of those things that really has helped me a tremendous amount in getting the colors correct specifically for my Canon R5 whose colors looked a little bit wonky inside of Lightroom. But like I said, I'm applying the same color chart or the same reference chart to calibrate the colors of my D750 as well as my sony a9 uh, this is out on location over here i'll be taking a image of this as a reference and we'll have a look at the raw file and what we're going to do in the software to build the profile and you know i've kind of put it inside of the type of light that i would generally shoot in so this would be balanced at probably about 6500 but you know the white balance doesn't really matter because the reference chart will will take the colors from these square blocks over here to balance correctly so the software will correct the raw file that we'll use anyway um I hope over here we've obviously got some beautiful light coming through these trees over here onto our color chart so it's well illuminated as a starting point so let's head back to the studio where i will feed this image into the software and we can have a look at what we do in the software to create that profile that we will be using in Lightroom and Photoshop to accurately represent the colors in our scenes and you know there is actually another way to do this too you can use a dual illumination um, uh, input and that will be taking this image out here and then another one in indoors in that yellow light and we can combine those two together to give us a a reading across all kinds of lighting situations but i found that i get a lot more accuracy just doing the single chart image feeding it into the software and creating a a super awesome color profile for my canon and my other cameras so let's go back to the studio Folks, welcome back to the studio. So as you can see up on our screen here, we have an image of our color checker chart. And obviously I've shot the image in its raw format. And in this particular case, I've shot it with the Canon R5 and I've imported this file into Lightroom. Now there's two ways that you can go about building the profiles. You can install the software okay and once that software is installed you can simply come over to your image over here and you can right click and say export and you can click on the color checker camera profile calibration you can give your profile a name so you could be canon r5 or whatever other ca uh, camera that you might be wanting to calibrate using this method and then what you do is you'd click save and the software will churn away in the background it does take a little bit longer than the method i'm going to show you next so you let the software run and what will happen is 
Lightroom will restart, okay? And when you go back to your development menu, you can go in there and you will see all of the, or you will see that camera profile listed here. If you don't see it listed there, you'd simply go over and search for it in all of the lists over here okay so you can see that we've got different ones that i created here which were just test charts this one i created a few minutes ago this was a canon eos r5 just test and you can see it's quite different to the adobe color profile anyway let's get back to where we were so the other way that i like to do this that i know that the software is actually looking at this profile correctly is what i do is i right click here i go to export and i will export my image as a dng to the desktop okay i've done that in this case already so all i need to do is just minimize this and i will open up my calibration software here it's the color checker camera calibration tool you can just download it from the x right site and all i simply do is just drag and drop that profile or sorry, not that profile, or rather the DNG file into this bit of software. And you can see there are our blocks patterns, okay? And you can see where the software has detected those color blocks, okay? You can adjust this so that those little circles match up with the squares there. This is just to ensure that those blocks of color are being registered properly from the, from the chart, okay? And the process is simple hereafter then you go to click create profile then you can give your profile a name so like in this case here canon eos r5 and it will save it as a dcp inside of your app data roaming adobe camera raw camera profiles and it'll put that profile inside here so you could say save and it'll render out i say render out it sounds crazy this is not 3d um so in any case it will build that profile for you that you can use inside of lightroom okay